Life Stallions, what's up? Kina Barber here, back with another video. Today's video is gonna be on the new Wall Pro Vanish Shaver, guys. Had this in the shop for a couple weeks, and we are going to go over this. Now, before we do, you already know what to do. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, get a video a thumbs up if you like the content, and follow me on my Instagram page, at Kimi Lifestyle. So without further ado, let's roll that intro. Welcome back to the channel guys. So we're going over the new Wall Pro Vanish Shaver. What we're gonna do now is head over to my unboxing station, get this thing open, take a look at the shaver and everything that comes along with this. So let's get to it. So here it is guys, the new Wall Professional Vanish Shaver. Now before we take a look at the shaver, let's kind of go over some of the description it says about this shaver on the box. So starting off on the top here, you see the Wall Professional 5 Star Series. On the corner here, it says lightweight design, comfortable grip, enhanced cutter bar system. Right here on the right side, it says ultra smooth finish tool. You see the picture of the actual shaver and what it looks like. And then on the bottom here, you see the vanish. So turning this box on the back side, we'll go over some of the description it says about this shaver here. The first line, it reads that it is a independent suspension cutter bar, ergonomic designs with comfort grip, as removable individual foil cartridges, smart led fuel gauge travel lock option on the side of the box you see four pictures here of some more description about this new shaver it says that it's bump free foil ergonomics cord or cordless convenience 100 minutes of runtime and this is a luthion ion battery that's going to be pretty much all the description it says about this on the box let's get this box open Here it is guys, a new professional wall vanish shaver. Let's take off this top piece here. So starting off from the top here, you see the individual foils and now they're gonna come in gold and you can actually remove each of these. So let's take that off. So when it's time to change your foil, which is really cool that they did is that you're able to take off these foils individually uh, so you can actually just buy the foils and you know sometimes when you are shaving and you get a little hose here and it starts to cut up your clients and then you have to buy a whole new one so i think you're able to buy just the foil piece here which will be a lot cheaper and save you a lot of money you just push them out and then it comes out pretty easy and to put it back in you just slap it in there and it's on there pretty secure so i do like the fact that you can do that and then here we have the two individual cutters um, of course, you can take these off as well. Let's put this back on. And to open this up, the release button is gonna be on the right side. Moving down here, you see the wall engraved on the foil head shaver. Um, it says super close. And then you're gonna see the LED display right here, um, which will let you know when it's time to charge up your shaver. You'll see the five stars and you're gonna see vanish and gold. The on and off button is gonna be right below that. It's gonna be of a smaller button. I know that the older shaver, which was the finale, it was the whole big piece there, which was easy to turn on and off. So if you are used to the finale shaver, it's gonna take you about a cut or two to get used to pushing the button down here. It is a push button, which is gonna come in black. On the back side of the shavers, where you're gonna have the finger grooves here for the ergonomics. On the bottom here is where you plug up your adapter piece here. And I do like the sides on the sides of this. It also gives you kind of some more grip as well. This shaver is gonna come in on plastic. It does have a little weight to it. It's not super heavy, but it has a little weight to it. And that's gonna be pretty much as far as all the little details I see on the shaver. Let's see what else we have inside the box. So up next we have the charging adapter. Now this is gonna come in your standard charging adapter. This adapter will obviously will fit the trimmer, also the gold magic clip as well. Basically you plug it in from the back here and there you have it. And like your standard adapters, this is gonna be a really thick cord so this is not gonna rip over time. Up next we have the cleaning brush. We have the smaller cleaning brush. And the last item we have is gonna be the shaver manual, basically gonna give you some more information on the brand new shaver, which I know we never read, right guys? And that's gonna be pretty much it. There's nothing on this side here. 
So here's the scale guys, we'll weigh this shaver just to kind of give you guys an idea on how heavy it is. So it's coming in at 175. Now it's time for the sound check. So before I give you my final thought on a new Vanish shaver, I did get a chance to use this on one of my clients. So check out this video of me using this shaver in action. Also, I'm using the brand new detailers and also the brand new uh, Magic Clip as well. So check this video out. So that was my cut of me using the brand new Vanish on one of my clients. And I want to start off with pricing first. So pricing on the wall website is going to run you around $129 for this shaver. Now I did end up getting mine from Elegant Barber Zone, which is located out here in California. I will leave that link in the description below, guys. The guy gives really good deals. So if you are looking to get it a lot cheaper, hit up his website, which again, I will leave in a link in the description below. So check that out. All right, guys. My final thoughts on this new shaver. Is this shaver worth the price? I say at the 129, mm, it might be pushing it. I wouldn't say that this is worth the cost at 129, but if you can't get it cheaper from any other sellers, then it's definitely be worth it. Now, if you're comparing it to the Finale Shaver by Wall, I will say that this shaver is better than the Finale Shaver. I actually like this a lot better. It seems a little bit more sturdy than the Finale Shaver. It has a little bit more weight than the Finale Shaver. And I do like the lock-in feature. And the way that works is that once you turn it on, you just hold it for about five seconds and it'll shut off like that. And now you can't do anything. So when you're traveling, you don't have to worry about the machine actually turning on. And to turn it back on, you just hold it and then it's back on. So that's a really cool feature. Also do like the LED display too. That'll also let you know when this needs to be charged up. So I do like that feature as well. And then also the back. I just love this having these grooves in the back here. It kind of, I don't know, it just, I do like the having the grooves in the back, but but I'm also using a shaver in this direction. And the 90 minute runtime. I think the 90 minute runtime is pretty decent. Um, of course, you're not gonna be using this shaver the whole time, so it is definitely enough for you to get a good charge in. So I think 90 minutes on this is really good. Now, how good does this work? Now, when I did use it on my client, I noticed right away that this shaver is really good. I almost wanna compare it to like the Andis shaver, um, with the brand new shaver that they have. This thing will cut through a little bit longer so you don't have to cut the hairs down too short because um, a lot of times we like to use our trimmers. We'll cut the hair down with the trimmers and then we'll go over with the shaver. With this, you can just use your clippers and then go right underneath that um, and it'll work just fine. It'll ball out your clients pretty good. It does work very well. So some of the things I don't like about this shaver, let's start off with the on and off button. Although I do like it being a push button, it took me about a cut to kind of get used to having that button down here because it's a little far down there and it's so small as well. So, you know, it's a small button and it's way down here. I had to get used to it, but once you get used to it, then it's fine. But that was just something that, that was like a little curve that I had to get used to. But that was one thing I didn't like about this shaver. The other thing I don't like about this shaver is that it didn't come with a charging stand. Now I do know wall, 
came out with a brand new charging stand which you can charge up the clipper trimmer and a shaver um, but you know with other companies coming out with their shavers and clippers and it comes with charging stand i think this should have came with the charging stand so should you buy this new band and shaver by wall well let's just say this if you're a fan of the finale shaver by wall then you're going to definitely like this shaver in my opinion i think this one's a lot better than the finale shaver and also at that price point on the wall website i just don't think it's worth that much but if you can get it from an aftermarket or a reseller of this shaver then i'll say get it for sure so when it comes to crowning or trashing the new vanish shaver by wall i'll say guys we're going to crown this shaver now the reason why i'm saying that although it's not worth that price while it's selling it for I do like the weight on it, the LED display light on it. I like the shut off feature that you have on this shaver. This thing has a lot of features on it and it works very well. And for that reason, that is why I'm gonna crown this shaver. It is a good shaver overall. So that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Get in that comment section, guys. Let me know what you think about this new Vanish shaver. Is it something that you're gonna grab or are you gonna pass? And are you a fan of the wall shavers like the finale? Let me know. I'm interested in knowing, guys. So until then, I'll see you on the next video.